So this is uh, Darby here with Youth Build, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to work with your resume on the Indeed website. Um, if you go to Indeed, you could log into your account or not. You don't have to, but um, if you click on the little person icon up here on the upper right and go down to Help Center, it will take you to um, Job Seeker Help Center. And you can learn about your account, you can learn about Indeed, company pages, job alerts, job search tips. But today we're gonna look at the Indeed resume, okay? So under the help center for the resume, um, it has some options for how to upload your resume, how to edit your resume. Um, I already uploaded the resume in a different video. So let's look at editing my resume. It looks like I need to be logged into the account to do that. So, I'm going to log into the account. Um, and here my resume popped up. So, right here, the first thing it prompts, it'll keep generating these different prompts so you can add to your skills. And, um, for example, I have been a math teacher, so I have experience working with students. I've done geometry. I can manage a classroom. So I'll save those. And now it's saved under my skills. And I can check to make sure my dates are correct. Um, there's all sorts of things that I could do and edit. Um, so down here, here's a little box that shows, do I have any of these top skills employers are looking for? And I could add more if I wanted to. So depending on what you've already done, you can um, update your skills and it'll suggest new skills that you might have that you weren't thinking of. Um, there's also assessments that you can take to showcase your skills. And some of these, like this says it takes 12 minutes. Um, this one takes six minutes, elementary school lesson planning. I haven't really worked in elementary schools, so um, I could click on, you know, discover the skills test. And it's going to show skills related to education because that's what I have been involved in. And if I wanted to take a, a skill test to show that I understand it, and these are free, um, then it would add it to my profile. So things like, you know, verbal communication, special education, that's something that I could do and take and add to my skill thing, creating a PowerPoint presentation. Um, I definitely know how to do that as a teacher. <laughs> so so these are a whole bunch of different skills that are related to education. First aid, as youth build students or graduates, you take and pass your first aid and CPR um, test. So that's something that you could apply to your things, uh, following directions, attention to detail. So, and then there, if I keep scrolling down, I can see other assessments, like there's a warehouse, um, security guard, team, things. So these might be important. And if I wanted to, I could look into the different categories. Um, like industrial and mechanical might be something if you're interested in construction trades. Um, So this shows like HVAC technician, mechanical knowledge, basic maintenance and repair. This is something that you can do in under 10 minutes 
um, automotive maintenance, forklift safety, and mechanical skills. So you could take one of these in less than 10 minutes and it will update your resume with the skills. So if I were to click start assessment, I'll just do this to show you what it looks like um, because I don't have any experience with this, but this is a sample question. Before working with any electrical wiring, you should first, um, I'm guessing put on, you know, like safety goggles and check for damaged wiring. Oh. Oh, shut off the power. That would probably be the most important one. It didn't tell me <laughs> if I was right or not. Um, so this is an example of the general maintenance. And there's only 14 questions. Um, I'll just go through it really fast. and see if it will add skills to my thing. I'm almost halfway done. I don't know what some of these are, I'm just guessing. Okay, three more to go. My door is sticking too. This is helpful. <laughs> I don't know what tape and pipes have to do with one another. Maybe leaking? Okay. So, here's feedback on the quiz. Um, I'll give it an eight. I'm not qualified as, as a basic maintenance, but it says I'm highly proficient, so yay. Um, now, if I wanna add it to my profile, where did it go? Okay, so see down here, like every time I check my resume on Indeed, it has more skills that I can add to my add to my resume. So keep checking in with it for the different skills that you can add. And here's my assessment. It shows I completed and I got highly proficient. Um, and you can choose if you want to show it to employers or not. Um, and it, you can see the score report. Um, so obviously I'm not an expert in maintenance, <laughs> but 
Um, this is something that you can use to boost your resume and your skills on Indeed. So think of all the different kind of jobs you've done on, with Youth Build or at the places where you work, and then go to the assessment section at the very bottom of your resume, and you can search for an assessment, or you could go, you know, to the categories and click on click on that. Let's see, role specific skills. And pick out different, um, like construction site situational judgment, 10 minutes. You can add skills to your resume um, and show potential employers that you know what you're talking about and you have experience doing this. So I highly suggest you take these little assessments down at the end of your resume on Indeed. And um, it's a good way to boost your skills and show that you have knowledge and experience.